You're live. Let's do some shares real quick. Looks like the Matrix on your computer. <laughs> <laughs> it's Cyber Baron server. <laughs> there we go. All right, let me turn my headphones up. Is the music too loud? Is anybody here? <clears throat> yeah, how's our sound, people? It's too loud in my Let's headphones. Bring that up. Let's bring that up. Yeah, it seems pretty loud in my headphones too. Bring that down. Do local recordings. Oh. That first impression list to do after is piling up. It is. <laughs> well, we got four now. Yep, four. And then another one is. Oh no, no, he's already up there. Okay, yeah, four. Wow. Um, Doug Smith, how you doing? Hey Doug, we're gonna be playing your game today. It's coming up after this one. Okay. Let's get started. I'm just going to jump and people will join when they're ready. Um, the first game we're going to be playing, I've got running. Kazlin Sisters. This is by a zealous individual. Right? Load it. Okay, here we go. How's it going, everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming, and I'm joined with T. Hello. We're going to be doing another entry into the fifth annual Driftwood Jam. This one is our first impression on the Kazlin Sisters. It's a... Uh, Get it going. Yeah. Options. Let's do it. On. On. New game. Doom. 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 April, you ready? I should hope so. Time check. Eleven forty-nine on the dot. Then we don't have long to wait. Eleven fifty-four. Left guard collapses. Hey, are you alright? 1156, the first card falls a second time, the second carries him downstairs. Is she like, she's predicting the future? <clears throat> here, I'll help you. Thanks, but what about your job? Bah, no one's ever come here anyway. I'll, I'll only be gone a, mo a minute. A <laughs> minute. A moment in it. In truth, he's gone 23. 11.57, the rain comes. And with it, us. Wow. They just jump across yeah. the rooftops? Crap. What happened? My lockpick broke. Here, let me handle it. Press Q or W to switch between the sisters. Oh, uh, Q. Oh, <laughs> W. Q. Get out of the way. <laughs> Let's take care of this lock. Got it. Mine broke too, but at least we're fine. <laughs> Sorry about in. that. All right. It's a book. A diary, in fact. This is the dragon's greatest treasure. Well, I don't think Harkin was wrong. This will be of use to us in the underground. Read later. If we're not back to the bunker by 2 a.m., we're caught in the reset. That's ten years of our lives, gone in a flash. What's going on? We must have triggered a trap! But we looked for those very carefully. For mechanical traps, yes, but not magic ones. A bit of an oversight, that. More than a bit. This place used to belong to an arch archmage. Archmage. Archimage. Arch How did we not think of this? An archmage. April! <laughs> dot dot dot. Nerg. Nerg. April. I'm here. Not sure, wacky swacky. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, no music. Where exactly? Listen for the gate. You're on the other side. I, I used one of them. It's MV. These are actually I used both of them. They're um, default. Glad you're all right. We still need to get out of here. Sorry, that was your line. That's all right. It's 1.05. That gives us a little under an hour to get back. Damn near impossible. 
I didn't see a way out on my end, but I found a device for breaking magical seals. Sound familiar? Uh, yeah. There's a glowy monument thing I passed on my way here. Then that's where we need to get. And to do that, we just need to unlock this gate. The bars are wide enough to pass smaller objects through. Though, so we can do this. Let's go. So, you gotta find stuff. A toolbox. The lock looks weak. I might be able to break it with something sharp. Use your dagger. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, it's this. those are the sci-fi portraits that come... That's the DLC that I kept saying that people could use. Because it's, it's not actually like... It's DLC, it's downloadable content. But it's not anything anybody had to buy. It was like an expansion of the engine after they made it, after they released it. They added some sci-fi stuff. Some sort of circulation, water's pouring in and draining out. Use the saw. <laughs> saw is wet now, but that doesn't Good help. job, good job. A valve? Ah! What was that? Nothing! Hey man, nothing at all. Uh, okay. Nothing on or under the couch. What do we have here? A vial of adhesive. Running out of time. Hold on. Are we using the right mics here? Yeah, okay. Give an item to Vi? Yeah, let's say uh, you can have the adhesive. Just give both of them to her. Well, I got the saw. Mm -hmm. I, had, I, there was, I used oh, my she, dagger. She gave me the saw. You missed a part. I yeah. popped this open with my dagger and I passed the saw over here. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't know if that's what I was supposed to do. Burr. Burr. What'd you say? Oh, nothing. Just this building has a freaking ice cave in it. Not the most surprising thing in the world. This place was... This place was... This place was once home to an arch Archimage. Archimage. After all, there's bound to be some weirdness. Nothing phases you, really. Uh. <laughs> uh okay, sure. No, you gotta go back down. Why? How, how, ugh. The way out, magically sealed. You cannot. You got give a up wooden that bucket. Don't give up that pass. No, no, you have to pop the the button, a switch, to block it right here and go up oh. and then go right or something well, like pop that. Pop the switch. Where? What switch? <laughs> I don't know. That's what I'm asking. <laughs> Alright. Let's say, uh, here, have a bucket. It doesn't fit through the oh, bars. Oh, shut up. Okay. Um, Give her the dagger. Take, hand it over a dagger. Let's see. Give an item to Vi? No. Wait. Can I just go like this? Hey, Vi? Coming! Okay. Like, you can't use an item. Can I use the saw on the bars? Nope. Running out of time. The nope, I couldn't tell the author of the game that we were playing their game because they're not on the Discord. And if they are, they use a different name, so I couldn't find them. What was that sound? I pushed the bed. Wow, who'd have thought you'd have the strength? Rude, it was on a track. Anyway, there's a switch underneath. Maybe I'll, it'll do something on your side. Yeah, it'll make the spiky thing. Yes, that's what we need. That didn't help anything. <laughs> oh, so, okay, go down, go down on those spikes there. Right uh -huh. there, go right there. And I'll switch to the other lady. And get off the switch. Yeah, there you go. You probably have to do it again, yeah. Now do it again, yeah. We done it! We got a frozen key. Hey, April! What's up? Guess what I just found? Vi, we don't have time for this. What is it? The key to the gate. Only it's frozen solid. And we don't have time to wait for it to thaw. Why does it need to thaw? Bring it here. Let's see what I can do. I don't know. It's a puzzle. Okay. She's just got to put it in the fire. Yeah. It's pleasantly warm. If it wasn't for the risk of losing my memories, I might stick around for a while. Use a uh, frozen key. And then we... Hey, bye. Yeah? I found a way to melt the ice. Only now the key is stuck in the fire. I'm not sure if that's better or worse. 
Let's just find a way to put it out. Pull it out. There we go. No way, not doing that again. Okay, I guess that's not it. What about the water um, and the bucket? The water in the bucket. Use an item. You got a bucket and you got a water. I'm you got a water this. and you got a bucket. No, the bucket does not fit through the gate. Uh. Hmm. Doesn't fit through the bars. I mean, we have saw. We have adhesive. We have like obvious. We need a bucket. Hmm. Can we? Well, that doesn't work. It let me use the adhesive. Huh? Didn't consume it. Adhesive bucket? I shouldn't play with the adhesive. I don't want to run out. Uh... <laughs> Psycho says, I like this game, but I couldn't finish it. There's no way that Drifty does. <laughs> Maybe with T's help. <laughs> I don't Thanks know. for the vote of confidence, Psycho. <laughs> You're probably <laughs> accurate. Um, well, shoot. Okay, so I don't know what to do. Anything in this hole? Try putting the girl on the other side of the bars, honey. Try putting the girl with the bucket on the other side of the bars. No, the girl with the bucket. Yeah, and then the other girl. Put, put the other girl there and try and use the adhesive. Maybe they like stick the bucket to the top of the bars or something. You grab it. I don't know. Okay. Use just use the saw. Go down and use the saw. No. Saw the bucket. No. <laughs> Why not? Sure. It, maybe saw it'll the bucket. fit. Yeah. What are you? Oh, it's you. What are you doing? Sawing the bucket in half. And then we use the adhesive to put it back together. That's right. Oh, you figured it out. You're so smart. Why? We need that. It won't fit through the gate. Besides, I'm already done. Pieces. Now you can give them to her. Oh give my gosh, you're pieces. so smart. And then we switch and we go adhesive on. Uh oh. You gotta give it to. The girl. Do I just have to use the bucket pieces? Two halves of a wooden bucket. Well, you ha the same girl has to have the heat. Oh, heat okay. Give the item. Yeah. Now she can do it. Repaired, Repaired the, the bucket. bucket. All right, fixed it. The bucket? New cutting it in half was the right idea. Told you so. Sure you did. Hey, heartless. There's some sort of circulation. Water's pouring in. Let's use the bucket. Repaired bucket. Got a bucket of water. Let's throw this bucket of water. Full bucket. Fires out. Got the key. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. April, are you okay? More than okay. I have the key. It's still scorching hot from the fire, but it looks usable. Great. Let's hurry on out of here. Okay. Good junk. So you gotta go up to the monument thingy. Yeah. <clears throat> Unlock the gate. Sure. Seems like Have this the orb? Is turned up or something. Testing. Okay. Have the orb? Yeah. Okay. It's a cutscene, darling. What is happening now? I'm just kidding. We're, We're back in the bunker. I guess so. I was a bit worried you weren't going to make it. <clears throat> Twelve minutes to the reset. To tell the truth, we cut it close. Wait, wait, wait. So you're telling me the magical teleport thing in that old place just brought us back exactly where we were trying to get with barely any time to spare? How does this make any sense? I've been wondering for some time whether we might have an ally within the triumvirate this lead lends credence. credence to those suspicions suspicions someone high up wanted you to get in and out with the treasure speaking of which here okay 
It's a diary, and by the look of it, the writings don't come from the Overlord, the Dragon, or the Tinker. Then who? I don't know. I'll spend some time looking into this. For now, get some rest. You may have another important task before long. Of course. Good luck. Flip, flip, flip. It's just like endlessly flipping. Oh, that was it? Yep. Oh. Okay. It was a little puzzle. It was made by Zeal. That was nice. I liked it. I'm alright with it. Yep. It wasn't it wasn't terrible. Yay, good job. It was a good job. Yep. Good job, Zeal. I'm you sad know, that you weren't on our Discord so I could tell you, or if you are, you were using a different name and I couldn't tell you that we were playing your game today. Yeah. Sad. I think uh I liked it, actually. That's strange because I don't usually like puzzle games. Yep. It was good. If it went on for much longer, I probably would have lost my patience. But, yeah. you know, 15-minute puzzle game. That's not bad. Nah, that feels right. Like, it, like when I when I play my games, I don't mind a few puzzles if it's just a, a few minutes here or there. Especially if they're not too hard and they make me feel smart. You know? Like, <laughs> right. The I know. puzzles were saying, great. Puzzles are fun when you're alone, but when you're streaming or when you're uh, doing, like, a first impression... It's it very quickly makes you feel like a moron. <laughs> and you're like a moron on display. Yep. <laughs> Alright, let's let everyone wait and look at me be stupid. Yeah. And fail at this puzzle. No, this exactly. was a this was a good game. I liked it. Um, interesting uh, little story. Nothing really that fancy. Uh, it was good, you know. Um, what do you mean it's not terrible? The game is awesome. It's it's all right. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Let's go on to the next game. Okay, that's going to do it for this one. Don't go anywhere yeah, on the live stream. We're going to come right back. We'll probably uh, do two more we're games We're going to do today, another hopefully. game, at least one more, probably two more. Um, so, yeah, th like this video. If you like it, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want to. If you want us to play your game, reward for oh, the yeah, $20 the tier on our Patreon. Links in the description. Like the video. Yeah, we said lick it. Lick it. Um, lick it Lick good. it. Do it. Lick it really a lot. Like a lot of licks. How many yeah, licks does it take to... How many looks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop? Any even, any odd number. A one. One is good, three is a good, two. five is good. Stay away from twos and fours. A three. That's what we know about licking things. Don't you remember the commercial? Yeah. Yep. Three. Three. Yes, I remember it. All right, that's it for this video. <laughs> See you guys in a second, but those in the live stream, stick around. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, don't go. Don't go. Mm -hmm. Don't go. Let's play another game. Let's do another game, guys. We don't need to. We don't need to leave. Yeah. Let's do another game. This one is by Doug Smith and the crew. I've is this the Valador? Yes. Yes. That's the one. Hey, you know Doug what? Smith we ran into an issue. Uh, apparently, there was a game called Enlightenment. Enlightenment. But it's somebody been deleted. deleted it. Like yep, they submitted so. a game, they met the deadline, and they're like, delete. Yep. So we can't play it. It's nope. on the list, but we're just removing it because we can't even get to it. So yeah. It is what it is, and uh, that's fine. Let's start this next one. Record. How's it going, everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming, and I'm joined with the Zombie T. Brains. Brains. <laughs> We're going to do another entry into the fifth annual Driftwood Jam. This is on Valor Doom, the prequel, and this is by Doug Smith and the crew. So let's take a look at this game. Let me know if the sound gets off at any point, or it's too quiet or too loud, and we'll get it adjusted. Let's look at yeah. the credits. Do, 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 do. Credits. Me. Oh my god. Without the endless tutorials, none of this would be possible. Sweet. Yenfly, whose plugins make your game great. They do. They do. And your mother, who stressed Aww. reading at a very young age and never told me I couldn't be what I dreamed. Aw, very, very nice. Hats off to your mama. Yeah. Shout out to your mama. My beautiful lady, Stephanie, the most understanding woman in my life, especially when I'm trying to complete a project. Matt Pennick, never has there been a better best friend. Gal for the JS. Jeremy Kennedy for some bars. Terax for just making a really good lighting plug-in. Mm -hmm. Kenizuki for some weapons. Uh, change, change weapons on battle. Okay. RM Core Script by Community. And if anybody else you missed, okay, get him in the next game. Cool. All right, let's play. Oh, he says it's Valor Dumb. Valor Dumb. Valor Dumb. Valor Dume. Got Valor it. Valor Dumb. Valor Dumb. The Preckle. <laughs> it's pronounced Preckle, right? Preckle. Preckle. Preckle, but Preckle. Just kidding. I'm fucking kidding, Joe. <gasps> what? 
I said nothing. You... I say nothing. Now you owe me a dollar. No, I don't do that. You're going to give me a dollar. Do you get to read her. I understand that you are a very skilled man at getting things... Wait. I understand that you are a very skilled man at getting things done for gold. I understand you're very skilled, man, at getting things done for gold. Some would say that. Very well. I need something returned to me, and I'm willing to pay very, very well for it. <laughs> what is it? My daughter. Oh. I wish for you to travel to Uten and find where the evil wizard is holding my daughter and return her to me in my castle. Nothing more, nothing less. For this, I will bestow upon you 9,000 gold pieces. She must be returned to me as she is found. Honey, Vino, Vino. Paid, paid for your swear dollar. Oh, this is to help Drifty afford that dollar. Thank you, Vino. Thank you, Vino. Appreciate it. Hey, Drag, how you doing? What's up, Nat? Mike Swaggy, Midia, Duke. See you guys. Um, okay. We go here. You caught a fish. What? What? Oh my gosh, I wish catching fishes was as easy as finding ocean farts. I like this fishing system. Yeah. You just run over little bubbles and you catch the fish. Jellyfish! Jellyfish! Oh, okay. you don't want that fish. I think I need to turn this down. Let's turn this down right here on this one. You know? Probably, because I don't want to peek it. Where? I want to say jellyfish! And not actually go red. There we go. That's probably better. I wonder if my something brought that up too loud. What is this? Immortal? Sound. The bane of my existence. I should just cut off my ears. No, I don't want to do that. No, don't. No, don't don't cut off your ears. Oh no! We're yeah. getting destroyed! You got purdy ears. What do you mean become immortal? No, Vino. Powerful don't, mantis don't, strike. Don't encourage him, Vino. We don't want a little toddler swearing. I support swearing. Listen, I got a story for you guys. When uh, I... my loud to me. Hold on. When my daughters were... Um, when my daughters were toddlers... They were a year and a half apart, so they were both toddlers together. I swore like a sailor, right? So sometimes they would swear, but usually it was at home and it wasn't a big deal. And you tell them, no, you can't say that word. And they don't get it because mommy says that word, so why can't I say it? But one time I was at Pizza Hut and I had what? one of the girls on the other side of the table with me. And I kept crossing my legs and every time I crossed my legs I would tap her foot. She all of a sudden yells out in the middle of Pizza Hut, this crowded store, like every table is full. Mom, stop effing kicking my foot. <laughs> that was a wake up that call was for Ariana. me. Yeah, she was like two and a half, maybe wow. three years old. Yeah. And everybody just like immediately turned their heads and looked at me and shamed me publicly. <laughs> How dare you. I don't think these battles are balanced, bro. You don't sh you don't swear in front of your young children. It's just that simple. Just don't do it. <laughs> Whirlpool. It just takes you back. I guess. That's cool. Right. Catch the fish! Oh, is this a, the battle? They're not balanced. It's, it's Are jacked you dying? up. You keep dying. <gasps> Are you only one person? There's nobody else? Yeah. Hmm. This is just... It's not much of a battle system. There's some skills, lots of default uh, animation. I don't know, is that permanent? Hey, you did it! You beat him! Good? HP, MP... Whoa. A whirlpool oh gosh, what's happening? Oh, oh they, they all no. just take you back. That's At fine. least the enemy didn't respawn. Are you gonna catch the fish? Yeah, catch the fish! <gasps> Jellyfish! No. I guess you have to run. Yeah, they, they just you kill you. Run. They will definitely kill you. Don't go in the whirlpool. Got a fish. Cause you will die. Look at all those treasure Got chests. Fish. Go to the lighthouse, too. Got a fish. Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> what do you mean? I gotta get treasure. Go to the lighthouse. I'm gonna, but I gotta get treasure. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to fight jellyfish. Okay. Aw, oh, come on. One step. <laughs> one step. That's awesome. <laughs> I found the OP move. I'm just gonna spam that move. Bread was found. It looks out of place. Check it out. Bread? Recovers 50% HP, removes poison and confusion. What, Wait, what does Cerberus need to do? Cerberus? It's like a three-headed dog. 
giant evil dog. Meat. It's, ah, meat. it's meat from cool. this giant. Wow. One step again? <laughs> why one step? I wonder if that's the whole map and that's why. Because, like, there's no map, so you have to have a fight every step. Oh, great. I'm poisoned. Oh, you have to walk on the road? Yeah, don't be in the forest. Am I still po- I'm still poisoned. Get on the road. Ugh, I gotta use my bread. Because... Bread. Oh, cool. It cured my poison that I got. Yeah. You gotta go to the lighthouse. I suppose. Is there nothing? No, That's it's nothing? The, yeah, wow! You don't, you don't okay, go that was anticlimactic. Did you read the sign? Who cares? Oh, you gotta read stuff! If here of bounty hunters in the. Hey, if here of bounty hunters in the area, be sure to let us know! The king will not have his people endangered. Do you hear like a. a, a breakingness? Like a graspy distortedness of the microphone? No. Testing audio. No, I do. Hello, hello. I hear like this. It this, might be your speakers. I don't know. Because I, I is mine it just my fine. headphones. Yep, mine sounds. Sounds fine. clear. Sounds super clear. Do we sound clear? Clear. It might just be my headphones. I think it's. Your I headphones. turned it down actually. No, I don't. I th I think it's just your headphones. I turned them down, but maybe that's I don't know. Whatever. Um. Be sure to let us know. The king will not have his people in danger, despite what the queen thinks happened to the princess. Uh, okay. Sounds okay. All right. By the gods, a customer! Yeah, it's Where just your headphones. Like, those stupid gods. When, once I turned this down, it went away. Huh. Haunted wizard castle. The queen's rage and the king's denial have led my fine tavern to, de to be devoid of patrons. King's denial, haunted wizard. What's going on around here? Stranger, are you buying? If you're buying, I might have the time to explain some of these things. So I guess we gave him money. Now tell me why your bar is a ghost town. You didn't hear this of me, but the queen seemed up to something about the upcoming blood moon. The king was not forthright about anything. Something about a blue crystal and a virgin sacrifice. Nah, so I hear. Eh, the... Ahim Evil Wizard? Uh-huh. Was to awaken something that gives the Quinn power to rule over them? Yep. <sighs> <laughs> Was that virgin sacrifice, say, um, the queen's very daughter? Some would say, most would not. But with the blood moon soon appearing and the disappearance of the princess, town's people started to assume that. And what of this blue crystal? The wizard is supposed subsode to have it <laughs> and the princess to make his own claim to rule. My daughter upstairs was very good friends with the princess and is very sad over this. Very. Very sad. Hey, listen. No, you gotta do um, something at rocks. You gotta go out, out and go to rocks. Go to the rocks? Yep, go to, ro go to rocks. Did I break it? I don't know. Go back. Oh, come on. <laughs> I literally took zero Wait, I think, steps. I think the rocks were in town. Like, the first <laughs> tile I land on... Battle. Yeah. That's all right. You just beat him really fast. Go, go back. Go back. Oh, your transfer events off. Yeah, the transfer events. You put me off. on the forest, which is probably a guarantee. Go, go into what town. rocks? Go the... into town. Into town. How do you know? Oh my god. The little stones. Just listen to me. Okay. <laughs> Those. Up here. Yes. Hunter gold. Woohoo! <laughs> Changed into armor. Oh my gosh. This is weird, man. That's cool. I'm okay with it. Yeah. I was like a naked man. Wolf, wolf skin. skin. That's what they call me at night. They call me wolf skin. You gotta put it on. It's oima. It's an accessory, actually. Oh, great. Good job. Clear everything. 10 out of 10. <laughs> switch the cloth. It looks like we've got some good stuff. So, Brimi lava rock necklace. Good stuff, yes. Very good, very good, yes. All right, that was good. Yeah, good. It seems really There's a shame rocks. if you were to miss that. Flail? Wow. It's a flail! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, flail's a weapon. Why can't I? Maybe you're going to get a partner. A, a handle with a chain and spikes. Just yeah. wait for your partner. Uh, yeah, this guy doesn't use flails. 
Gooch Cold Bong. A stacker of the mislead and a brimmy at that. You are a bit of a ways away from Valadum, which can only mean one thing. I am here to enjoy the fine weather and ale. I find the ale in Port Call so much better. That is where I am off to. Something seems afoul here, and I do not wish to partake. Safe travels, Remy Strucker. Oh, he's gone. He's like, See ya. He's like, deal with it. I yourself. swear, I am not here to battle the evil wizard and return the princess to the queen. Well, fine. How about you just don't do that, then? A stalker of the misled here in Newton, and clearly away from Brimmy, a Brimmy warrior. I have always wanted to try my hand against a Brimmy warrior. By the gods! Why would you want to do that? To see who is the best. Well, I'm God. Go to Brimmy Land. I'm sure you will not lack for sparring partners. Hmm. Perhaps, but sparring is so tame. Maybe one day a Brimmy warrior will have something that I want, and we will contest for it. We will contest for we it. We will contest for it. Well, good luck with that. Indeed. I don't know what that conversation was. With me ship run aground, I'm working here as a cook. Are you hungry? 150 gold. Uh, Sorry, no, dude. Maybe next time. I only have 100 gold. $150? What are you making? Fucking truffles with... Maven, you son of a... Z, I don't have any time to guess why you're here. My good friend, whatever do you mean? Z, something doesn't fell right about this. I will be heading back to Valadorm. Doom. Valadum. The Valadum. ale here is terrible and the women are all in hiding. Of course they're in hiding. They heard you were coming to town. What do you know, my good friend? Not very much, I'm afraid. Only nothing in this town as it seem, is as it seems, and I'm getting too old for this type of adventuring. I will leave you to this. Be safe and cautious. Wait, what did I do? I what did, did you do? I did a thing. Bunk, he's gone. Just like that. Boop. He just, boop, gone. Just popped out of existence. Another stalker of the mislead? No doubt here to find the princess or slay the evil wizard. I have an offer. I, I have an offer. Care to hear it? I'm listening. Let's work together and find the princess and split the reward. I might have blah, blah, blah. Why would that be a good idea? You know the whole two heads are better than one thing. I'm fluke because it was a fluke that I was born. And I'm very talented warmaster but inexperienced. So then why? My family needs the gold and working together some gold is better than none. The lobby is filled with bounty hunters, and I think we could help each other. Sure, join. Sure, kid, why not? I could use some company. I won't let you down, kid. If you let me down, you will be dead. Very inspiring. Okay, cool. We got a party, a party member. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We should do, like, you know, fanfare, music effect right there. Dun, 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 dun. Ginger joins the party. Clean sheets, clean sheets. Is the ray any better than a clean sheet? Some obvious typos and grammar. Wait, talk to the old oh people. yeah, the old couple. Back in my day, I do hope all this misery is solved soon. The princess was such a nice girl, always willing to lend a helping hand to an old lady like myself. Shme. Oh, oh! more loot. My tooth hurts. I know, that's all. Metal sword was found. Guess what? Fun fact. During a shutdown, it's really hard to go into a dentist in one day and get your tooth pulled. Yeah. I, they gave me antibiotics instead, so hopefully those will help. I had to sleep sitting up in a chair last night. Oh, it was terrible. It was very bad. Poor baby. I've, the worst pain I've had in my life is when I had um, a molar infected and ready to be pulled, yeah. basically. Yeah. It's infected. And the night before I had it extracted was like the most pain I've ever been in. And I literally couldn't sleep because I would doze off and wake up like in yeah. five minutes. But you just tried to lay down pain. flat. Laying down flat's not a good idea when you I was Yeah, condition. I was still putting pillows and like I couldn't yeah. sleep. I got like maybe an hour sleep the whole night yep. and would try to go for eight hours. Finally, the when next burnt, day I was like, I will pay you cash, pull this tooth out of my yeah. face. But I would too if somebody was open. All the dentists are closed. Um, I. I went into, we went finally to, started to go to sleep when the birds were chirping this morning. Uh-huh. I was I'm, able to fall asleep for a little bit. She goes, can I help you? I'm here to return the princess to the queen. You can return. 
and you came here. Has someone in that silly town been been filled your head with silly stories of ben the filled old your head? lady in the woods? What can you tell me about the princess? Nothing. Now be gone. And what was that sound? You wouldn't mind if we looked around, would you? What, why? Because something doesn't feel right. She's here. Fish. You ate her food. Oh my gosh, Four stop breads. stealing the old lady's food. We are food. the hero in an RPG. Everything belongs How to us. How can you do you that? Know I'm pretty sure the sparkles are an indication of where you're I supposed to go. I don't see where I'm supposed to go. I don't understand. <laughs> you know, you need to put some sort of indication. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wait, you can't go down there. Why would that be? Huh. Huh. Yeah. All, all our dentists are shut down except for emergencies too, but apparently even for emergencies, it's like they, the close, the fastest they could see me is May 13th. May 15th. 15th. Yeah. Yeah. Um, don't put your, don't put your cupboards in the wall. Yeah. Like that, that's just bad. Are happening. you going to eat her other, fi gosh, Fish. this poor woman is going to starve to death. They won't even notice. No, what are you doing? I miss Don't walk. leave. I miss There's walk. the princess. The blue marble crystal. Who are you? How did you get down here? What do you want? I will not be taken back. I'm not taking you anywhere. You don't want to go, princess. Then why are you here? Are you going to try and take the blue crystal? I can't let you do that. I was sent by your mother to retrieve you, but now I find myself wanting to get to the bottom of things here before I return to my peaceful home. I think my mother wants to use me in some ritual. That will make her all powerful. Come with me. I will let nothing, not your mother, father, or any evil wizard, bring harm to you. Princess, do you see those marks on his face? If he says no harm will come to you, you can trust him, and I. Very well. I can't hide here forever. You see his face tats? That means he's trustworthy. <laughs> I always trust a person with face tattoos. Uh-huh. You can't take her. I won't allow it. I'm not taking her. She's coming with us. It's okay. I'm going with him. Very well. <laughs> I'm an easy pushover. You must take a couple of these amulets to help you. you got two... Sap for hair necklaces. Hey, Vino, thanks for the advice. One thing I found works extremely well, even better than the ridiculously over-medicated ore gel, is um, clove oil. It smells strong. But it's more effective. It Good. makes your whole face numb. I had ore gel um, like this. Uh, so, was it not Solarcane? Uh, Novac not Novocaine. What was it ben called? Benzocaine. Benzocaine. 20% benzocaine is the highest I, I use. I don't know what percent it was, but I used some benzocaine, and it was like five minutes. Really. Yeah. Like, oh, that's okay. Yeah. Five minutes later, it goes right back. It was the most like frustrating thing. Yeah, the clove lasts like four hours. I think. Wow, that's nice. Yeah, it lasts for a while. That's so... Because I, when I had that one last year... Um, uh, it was the worst pain I've ever yeah. had. Yeah. Oh, it's painful. Yeah. I can't say it's the worst pain I've ever had because I had one tooth die, so I had the toothache until it finally went away. You you didn't treat it when you were younger, or what? Well, I couldn't get to a dentist because I didn't have insurance, so mm. it took me a while to get insurance and then finally get to a dentist. And by the time I went, I had a fluid-filled sack on my neck it's oh, disgusting God. it like my whole bottom lip was swollen so that it was so swollen it was up above my upper lip and my neck was just like i mean i looked like a fat person like a big fat because it was neck. swollen it had liquid in there it had pus in there that's in the awful. skin of my neck it was it was absolutely terrible Ugh. so yeah that's i've been terrible through how old were you when that happened uh, i was 27 Wow. And I was a manager at a manufacturing plant, quality manager at a You didn't have any health plant. insurance? And I didn't have health insurance and I kept going to work anyways. Because I'm a lunatic. I would sleep, um, my 10 year old was breastfeeding at the time, and I would sleep on the couch sitting up with pillows under my arms, holding on to him. Like I'd fall asleep and he'd fall asleep on my lap while I was holding him and I'd sleep sitting up at the couch. Oh, it was terrible. It was terrible. Sounds I went into atrocious. an urgent care because I'm like, somebody's got to help me. Yeah. And these people in the waiting room were looking at me and they're like, oh, they're going to do something for her. Oh, yeah. She has to have medical care. And they didn't, though. You know what they told me? What? They told me that the regular medical care providers, this is America for you, medical, re regular medical care providers have an agreement with dental providers that they won't treat dental issues. So they don't step on each other's toes. So they were just going to let me die of a face infection because I couldn't get to a dentist. 
That's fucking retarded. It is. And by the time what I got the to the What the fuck dentist, is wrong with our healthcare system? It's terrible. So I had to like ride it out until the tooth finally died. And when I went in to get my root canal, the tooth wasn't even hurting anymore. Because it, it had already killed the nerve. Yep. But it was still a prone to be infected. Which yeah. Which is good to, that you pull it out. Well, it was a root canal, and it, it's, it actually was really good. I have a metal tooth. I'm a pirate. Oh, nice. Yeah, I have a root canal, and they put a crown over it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, that's a good outcome. That usually is extraction. The outcome for that it typically results to antibiotics till the infection goes away, and then extraction so you don't get another infection. Yeah. That's your, that's your line of approach. I mean, you can go the more expensive route um, and, and hope that it's not too far gone, that a root canal will be good, and you put a crown over it. Mm-hmm. But that's like a couple grand. Yeah. No, it was it, it, it was just absolutely ridiculous. Like I had a job that should have given me a good health care plan, but it didn't. And um so I had nothing available to me. Yeah. I had to apply I, for Medicaid, I think it was I had no health care coverage from the age of eighteen to thirty five. Mm-hmm. I had no, I had no yep. insurance from 18 to 35. And thankfully, we met each other, and he went on my insurance after we got married. And then when he had issues with his eye, he had health insurance, so he could go get it checked out. Otherwise, yep. he'd be dying of cancer right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, it would have been bad. It escalated quickly once it started taking a... Once my vision went, and I noticed that I had blind spots, with a matter of months, it, like, just... I started seeing spots, flashing of lights, floaters, like it just like went crazy. It was growing until the radiation. And then I did three days of uh, 72 hours of radiation. Yeah. And uh, it killed it. And hopefully you that's know. the last we'll hear of it. But we do have like looming over our heads is the chance of metastasis. Yeah. Well, there's an 82% chance that, um, that I'll never encounter a problem with cancer again. Yes. Besides just losing my eye eventually because this eye the vision is, is legally blind in my left eye and and it just gets worse it keeps getting worse the 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 blind spots expand and so that I lose complete vision and the parts that are not blinded completely like with no vision is like st extremely blurry with my left eye I don't get very much at all no nah. it, it just, just gets, it just gets worse and worse as time goes on it's just on. supplementing my right eye a little bit Eventually, I'm going to lose it completely. I already have depth perception problems. Well, 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 the princess. <laughs> Just in time. Just in time for what? We must sacrifice the princess if you have the blue crystal. The, the moon changes, and you and I can rule the world. And why would we want to do that? The queen has already laid out all the enchantments. If we do not, the being that we seek to resurrect and control will be without a master. And what happens if there is no sacrifice? His evil will consume us all. No one is going to touch one single hair on her pretty little head. Corey Davis with a $20 super chat. Wow. Corey, bro, <laughs> you don't have to super chat all the time, man. Like, <laughs> dude, like, I, I hey, freaking appreciate up? it. Look at but... this. He said, wait, read what he says. He I goes, made it, yeah, and I'm looking for a wife. What's up, peeps? Hey, this is a legit Cor shout out. Corey like, is Yo, looking for a date. What up, ladies? <laughs> I heard that 18% of your viewers are female. What up, ladies? I could be your sugar daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Real Drawn. I'm going to click show on that. <laughs> Fuck, Corey. Keep donating and I'll slap a wig on and be your wife. <laughs> you know, I don't know how Corey goes, but I don't know if that's what he's looking for. <laughs> Might have a tough, Duke tough. says, me too, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Toronto Gaming. Sir Corey Van Davis. So we're gonna we're gonna kill this guy, let some evil thing be incarnated, and destroy the world. Something like that. I mean cool. it's the story's like slightly poorly written. Lots of typos, lots of grammar errors. The plot is like kind of weird. I don't know. I like the plot. The the plot is all right. I like the plot. Yeah, the plot is okay. It's just like kind of haphazardly put together. Um, it's not bad. I mean, battle backgrounds would be nice. Some custom, some more custom animations would be nice. Some of the fight, some of the skills feel stronger than the other ones. It doesn't feel like completely balanced all throughout. 
Some skills are super weak, some skills are super strong. It's kind of random. <laughs> They're fighting over who gets to be Corey's wife. <laughs> the guys. <laughs> the guys are fighting who gets to be uh, uh, Corey's wife. That's funny. Corey, uh, I don't know if that was what you were looking for, but uh, you got a response. <laughs> yeah, like, there's a good, like, f at least four out of five of my viewers are male. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, one out of five is probably female. Almost. <laughs> I know a few females. I don't need to, like, out them. But there are definitely a few females that like to make fun of me. And call you Baka. Yeah. We have a lovely non-sexual relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Corey, my wife says I can't go for you, bro. <laughs> but I'm really digging your style. <laughs> <laughs> I want to speak with the queen about all this trickery. I've got a thing or two I'd like to speak with her about as well. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. My lady, no thanks is needed. For saying that I was pretty. Uh, soft to the castle we go. Uh, Zadarius... The hell does that mean? Uh, let's plunder this gold first. Yeah, plunder is that his the name? gold. I don't know. Plunder the gold. Yeah, grab all the booty. Yeah, get the booty. Grab the booty. Look in that box. You can't. No, look at the box. The box. It's a broken box with nothing well, in it. Maybe there was something in it. Never. Never. So are we done? Wow, thanks for eliminating backtracking. I appreciate that. I don't want to yeah. have to walk back if it's going to do nothing for me, so. It's actually good, a good step. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, that's cool. The princess! I will take her to the throne room at once. I don't think so. Look at the bad. Beat him up. Look at the bad, 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 You should do some battle backgrounds. That's that would have been really cool. Just pick like forest background or or like a river bridge crossing <laughs> background. <laughs> Corey Davis's chat is scaring me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I'm gonna take it. Corey's looking for a female wife. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Princess Tuna! I'll be taking her off your hands, stalker. If you can pry her from my cold, dead hands. All the better. One thousand deaths! Pouring twenty dollars. Donating twenty dollars. Donating twenty dollars is like pouring gasoline onto the live chat fire. Yeah. <laughs> Comrade. In Soviet Russia, gas poor you. Princess Tuna! Step aside! So I'm going in the castle, and my companions are coming with me. At once, my lady! I'm just a dumbass. I don't have an opinion. Baby, what? We meet again, and with you having something I want. And what would that be? Let's start with your head! And with me loving my head the way it is. I shall handle this alone. What? That's stupid. I got this. No. Why would you? Why? Why? Ken too? He's, he's, a, he's a named guy. Just a regular boss fight. Ball. Ball, 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 ball. I'm playing basketball. Ball, 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 ball. That's how. That's how you win. You just yell ball at them enough, and eventually they'll, they'll like, they'll travel or something, you know, or they're. Can steal it. No, I don't want to play the ball. game with you. Ball, 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 he was ball. so good at the game that he wouldn't let me win because he's a big meanie. What game? The ball game. What are you talking about? I don't know what it's called. Double dribble. Double dribble. Yeah. <laughs> On Nintendo, the greatest, uh, the greatest basketball game ever created is called. <laughs> On NES. Double dribble. Come on, Cantu. Suck my double stab. He, oh, he healed. My God. He did a heal. My two bits and I got a critical Ouch. hit. Poor baby. Oh. Yeah. Oh. You just started taking antibiotics today. Maybe that'll yeah. kick in, in 24 to 48 hours. I hope so. And if, if not, like, you know, we're going to uh, get that sucker yanked out. I'm going to get a freaking hammer. 
No, we're gonna get Goodbye, an extraction. We'll, if I we have to pay cash, of, we'll go pliers. to like an urgent care and just say like. Yeah, they don't do dental work. Remember that story I told you? I went to an urgent care. They're like, yeah, we have an agreement. No, no, no. What about like a like 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 a dental They're urgent? All closed. Gen- They're all closed. All closed. Except there's there's one in the town closest to us, but they couldn't they can't see me until like May fifteenth. Like, like three weeks from now. Yeah. Where is everyone? I've got a bad feeling about this. Let's take a look around. For everyone to be looking for you so badly, why is this place so empty? This doesn't make any sense. Did I mention I have a bad feeling about this? Let's keep moving. It's a char. It's a tarp. It's a trap. Strip. Finally, the queen. Now we can get to the bottom of this. That's not my mother. What? Isn't it amazing? What a crown! And a nice smile! She's, I'm the queen. Okay, you're the queen. I'm the queen. My voice is better, but go ahead. No. Isn't it amazing? Nope. Isn't it crowd. amazing? And a nice smile will get you my handsome Brimmy warrior. What is going on here? She's my aunt. And soon to be your queen and your ruler cool of all the universe. Get it right. You're cooing. Come to me, my dearies. Okay. Soon to be your cooing. Soon to be your cooing. <laughs> That's her voice. You just okay. don't. My parents! Please! Right, the fine. blue crystal and the pretty steel and the dime! Time is of the essence! <laughs> Come on, she's gotta be this. <laughs> Locked. Okay, well, I guess we've gotta sacrifice this bitch. Rise, great god Delto! Rise, great god of glory! You can be this guy. Who has awoken me? <laughs> <laughs> I have! I'm your most loyal servant! My offering. Take her! Take the girl! Yummy. You cannot have my princess! You may take my blade instead! I'm by your side, my lord! Let us cut them down and take the girl! My stupid bitch niece! <laughs> she won't just be a sacrifice like a good niece! Best boss voice ever. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> Delto Lightning? Princess Tuna! Spirus Ryzen? Oh, cool. Alright. What about our basic attack? Three season style. Get him. Attic. Pretty weak. Poison spear also sucks. Princess Tuna should important. have a fish attack. Oh, she's getting counter attacked or something. Delta Lightning Bolt. Thank you, Psycho Gaming. $2 Psycho, $2 thank you chat. so much. Two dollars. Brimmy Spear Dance. Hit all these enemies with some hella damage, bruh. Princess, let's do some water ball. Oh, 2,000! Wow! She got shanked, man. She got owned. She got hella shanked. Let's do that again. I'm, I'm digging that 2,000 yeah, damage. Cool. That was pretty s nasty. Alright, let's do precision streak. Ba-ding, ba-ding! And attic. Nope, and here we go. Bring me spirit dance. I learned this from home country. Lots of levels. Give me the monies. And instant teleport. The Uten Kingdom owes you a great deal for saving us from all that nonsense with my wife's sister. He was promised 9,000 pieces of gold, father. Psh, a mere drop in the bucket. I would like you to remain here in my service as the king's personal bodyguard. Here, with all due respect. I'll be leaving your wonderful kingdom, only returning for the Princess uh, Tuna's wedding, or should my good friend and future prince need any my help. Bye, you choose gold over righteousness. What the king meant to say is, we are forever grateful for you and your service, and are always welcome as a visiting dignitary in your tech. Thank you, my lady. Hey, we beat it. 
I need to open nature's drain. A little bit long, drain. but it wasn't I'll that be bad. Back. You gotta do what? I gotta open eight nature's drain. Oh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for making the game, Doug and the crew. Really, really good job. Obviously, had some spelling errors, some grammar issues. The plot was kind of wishy-washy. T liked it. T liked the, the storyline and whatnot. I thought it was okay. Um, good job with the lighting. I think adding to Rex was a good choice um i think the battles were they felt about right i would say maybe they weren't completely balanced there could still be room for improvement but altogether it wasn't terrible so that's good good job guys good job that was pretty good don't go anywhere we're gonna do one more game really quickly we're gonna play ariana find the something uh, but that's it for this video. Give it a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you'd like us to play your game on Steam, uh, on the stream, uh, not on Steam, well, maybe it could be on Steam, but if you want us to play it on the live stream or on our channel, that's a reward for the $20 tier of our Patreon. Just go ahead in the links in the description below, check it out. Uh, you can also get it done for free if you join us on the Discord and interact with the bot that we've coded. And play our game, we'll play your game, spend some time with us, we'll spend some time with you and win-win for everybody and there you go so uh for those in the live stream stick around we got one more game for those watching valid doom that's it for this video give it a thumbs up subscribe we'll see you guys next time bye bye tea's in the bathroom she says goodbye though bye bye don't go don't go leave stay don't don't leave don't leave stay stay leave don't leave don't leave stay 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 with me, Ariana. Find Ar Arena. Arena, find the way out. We're gonna do another game. We're gonna do one more game. Cause we need to do. We have five games in two days. Today and tomorrow, to like really try to make things timed properly. So we're gonna do three today, and we'll have two tomorrow, and we should be fine. Today's Thursday, right? It is. Great. This will work fine. Okay. Did I turn the sound down on this already? It feels a little loud. You know, like it's a little bit loud. Let me just. Volume mixer. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I did turn it down, but damn, it's just super loud. Okay, I'm gonna bring it down a little bit more. Turn this up, turn this up, turn this down. Wow, I have to turn it down quite a bit. Can you guys still hear it? Does it still sound okay? Was it just super loud? I have it down to 6%, basically. It's like 6% of the volume that this game is supposed to be at right now. Arena, find the way out. Um, let's go ahead and get started. This game this is a game by Borromeo. 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 Okay, let's get started. Hold on. Uh, T's back. She's back. I'm back, and I'm better than ever. Hey, uh, hey, uh. How's it going, everybody? Here. I'm Drifty from Gentle Gaming, and I'm joined <laughs> with Hey, uh, T. Hi, uh, hey, uh. We're going to be playing here. another game. Uh, this we're is the third playing... game. Third game for today, Arena Find the Way Out by Borromeo. So let's go ahead and play this game. Uh, let's make sure we can see the chat. Uh, hopefully the sound is right. Let me know if it's too loud or too quiet and we'll adjust it on the fly. Yeah. Always dash. Commander River, all the things. New game, go! Hi Driftwood, my sister and I made our amateur project for submitting the game jam. I hope she'll be happy to enjoy and play the game. So wait, you're saying you and your sister put together a game, like kind of like the way Toasty did? Hmm. Is this a dream? What time is it? No music. Oh crap! I'm late for school. Okay. No names, I guess. What the? At least we got face. Hey, right. open up! You lock the other side of the door. Great. What should do now? I love the verbatim reading. I, that's how I do it now. <laughs> Find the way out inside the house. Enter select escape. Yeah. Stop it. No. The door is locked. Okay, let's go this way. The door is licked. Did it say licked? No. <laughs> it's a faucet and a medical kit inside. A medical kit inside why the faucet. Why don't we take the medical kit that was inside the faucet? I don't know. Nope. Not necessary with bathrooms. Not walking in. Not necessary. Do we interact with something? Here? Sure. It's a garbage bin. A printer. A computer, but it's not useful. Computers are useful. Some books. 
Telephone, but the wire is cut. It looks like a clock to me. The, the telephone's behind it. I see it. The window is shut, but I can't get out. I'll find a way out for good. Okay. Look Sorry. at the calendar. That was you. I know. You always read my stuff. Because I sometimes get in a hurry. The date is July 16th, 2019. And then yep, like, that's my birthday. You're like, you're like reading comments. It's going to be a surprise birthday party, isn't it? There's notes on the ground in the bathroom. Do you see that? Look at the notes on the ground. Some dirty clothes. No, go back. Go back to the bathroom, please. Notes on the ground. Oh, no shit. My bad. Read it! Push the green drawer. Okay. What drawer? The green one. Is that green? I can't push there. Get on the other side. Yes. Push it. I like to push it, push it. Hmm. So this is a way out. Okay. Alright. A classroom? Into the classroom. This is trippy. So, is this underground school or bunker? I didn't know there was a secret basement. Well, Duke, legit, I am kind of blind. I've got eye cancer, so, I mean... Some documents and novels. <laughs> like... Like, right, that's, the bookcase, the bookcase. I understand you're just trying to have, like, good humor, but, like, legit, the I am bookcase. fucking blind. Oh, my gosh. I'm trying. It's, it's a, a bookcase. Book <laughs> okay. We solved that. Yep. Okay. All right. You looked at the bookcase. Good job. Some documents, novels. It's a telephone, but the wire is cut again. There's an axe on the ground. Yeah. Oh my god, what are we going to do with this you're, axe? You're going to need an it axe. It just feels Friday the 13th all of a sudden. Doesn't it have this Friday the 13th feel? Yeah, a little bit. I kind of like the, it. The, the wall right there where the crack is. Axe yeah. the wall. Do you want to chop yes, the wall with the axe? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Here's Johnny! <laughs> it just got crazy. You want to enter? Yes. What is this place? Hmm. It looks like a testament or a tomb, but it says, I will give you the sword to defeat the evil fanatic. Is this a joke? I don't know. Whoa, I feel like in heaven. You feel like in heaven. In heaven. I feel like in well, heaven. Like that should one be of it. Them, right? Okay. There's a key. We'll take it. Yeah. We got the key. Look at the generator, too. Testament. Not that. Yeah, that. Nothing. What about this thing in the wall? Not the nothing. grate, yeah. Okay, nothing there. Wait, look at your equipment. Did you get okay. a sword? You did. Optimize. It looks like it may have automatically equipped it. Yeah. That's good. We get heal and fire. Okay, sure. Default stuff. Save it. Let's just save it. All right. We got key. Well, why not? We have key now. Yeah. Maybe the key goes here. You unlocked it. This key goes here. Yeah, let's yes. enter here. We definitely want to enter. Here goes, here goes nothing. nothing. Okay, sorry, that's you. Stop reading me! I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I can't help it. You are the evil fanatic, right? I'm like Ron Burgundy. You put anything on the prompter, it's gonna go fuck yourself, San Diego. <laughs> hey! Of course, now you but owe me not $2. just an evil. He's good. I'm gonna be rich. We've been five minutes in. We're good. <laughs> can't be a two minute. Well, you are here to escape my place. Then I will defeat you! Evil Fantic. <laughs> I know it's this fanatic. Shut up. Fire. Fire him! Double fire him! You're set. I love the giant long health bar. <laughs> Even though I'm not, like, a huge first-person fan, I like this. I mean, I wish there was some customization in here. Like, it's not a fire and heal, but yeah. a default one. Very default. Not even a hue slider went into this end. It's just, like, all. Oh, like, it didn't even change the database. Yep. That's fine. But what I do like about this, really, is this long health bar and long MP bar. Instead of just like a little square, you know. Try it's like regular. you got one character. Boom! Health bar. Try the regular attack. I like that. Try the regular attack. Okay. Hold on. Let me do heal. Okay. I don't know why it's so appealing to me. <laughs> it uses more real estate. 
but like I like it. It's good. The regular attack is better. The the combat's shit. Let's be honest. But at least you have huge health bars, right? Yeah. It fixes everything. Why are you using fire? You did 250 with your regular attack. Did I? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm conditioned in a way that I would design that if it consumes a resource, it should typically do more than your non-resource consuming abilities. This is an imbalance in the game, really. Like, your attack should do 100 and your fire should do 250. Unless specifically this guy is like, resist, he's an ice slayer or something. And he's... I think it's probably just not balanced. Yeah, it's just not, it's just not yeah. a thought put into it. It's just like, well, those numbers look all right. They're okay. Sure, you can beat him. You can I do mean, it. I mean, I get it. I didn't balance my game. My game would have been so horribly unbalanced unless uh, Drifty jumped on it right before I was ready to upload it and balanced it for me. Yeah, this combat is atrocious. This is you. You want to give up now? Arg! I am not. What? I am not want to give up now. Hey, wake up. You had a dream. Wake up, you're late at school. Smack. Smack you, bitch. <laughs> Was it a dream? What are you talking about? You know what time it is. You know what time it is to spin that wheel and miss Sorry, the Sorry, I just slept late. Are you sure? Yes. Heh, <laughs> you're my lazy friend. <laughs> lazy. What the fuck is happening right now? <laughs> hey, you're going to school or what? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Well, this is it. Black screen. Good ending. It's just a dream. Okay, we do, we're done. Okay. We got the good ending. We got the good ending. We fucking got I mean, the good more, ending. What more can you want? What more can you want? Yay, us. Here, let me pat your back. I'm giving a clap for this I'm one. You know why? I'm back. Nine minutes. We finished it in nine minutes. I patted your back. I'm okay with this right now after the third game. Yeah, three games today. I know she wrote... She helped to wrote the story, not write it, but wrote it, and making characters for my game as well. She's 14. Good job, she. Mm -hmm. Good job. Keep it up. You know, um, I know exactly what you're trying to say. It's poorly written, and the grammar's really bad. You know what? But you know what? Yeah, I understand what you're trying to say. And here's the thing. You they're got not your native across. English speakers. Really? And they're children. You don't say. So... Kudos. Good, Good job. job. Good job. <laughs> Good job. It wasn't the worst game I've ever played. And that's saying something because I say that about every game I don't like. Yeah. So that's it for today. That's going to be it for Arena Find the Way Out. Apparently, we got the good ending in nine minutes. Nice. Nice game. Nice. The requirements was to last five minutes and no more than 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And most games have done that. I would say I'm surprised. How many games? That was a weird like in and That's, out yeah, loop weird of looping the, of the audio, there. but whatever. Uh, I would say I was very surprised about how so many games went over 30 minutes. Yeah, like well over I, 30 minutes. I would say like half of them are 30 minutes or more. And you know what? They're going to blame you not reading stuff and wandering around. But I'll tell you what. He's representative of many, 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 many players, Assume including your me. your player is a complete idiot. Yep. So Assume like, that your player, person playing your game is a moron, and they don't know how to do yep. anything, and they can barely fucking read. And, and if you're, then you will program it right. If you're trying to do a game, because there's some people that are butt hurt that we didn't get far on a drift yesterday on the Discord. This is what I got to say. If you... If there's any chance that somebody could be wandering around your game and wasting time not getting somewhere, especially a judge, because it can happen to judges too, we're also people, put arrows on the ground. Yeah. Do whatever you need to do Idiot to make sure that the person game. can finish the game in the 30 minutes. Because that's, that is more important than making it look good or be challenging. Yeah, there's you so know? many games that I've played off of itch.io where I look at the screenshots and I'm like, wow, this looks beautiful. And I'm like really yep. psyched. And I get into the game and there's no gameplay. It's like a visual novel and or the gameplay is shit and it's like yeah. not balanced and yeah. it's just like there's so many things that were skipped over but it looks great it's like a beautiful cover and on the inside it's nothing but garbage and right mess. but what i was talking about is specifically the time limit when you're entering a jam that has a time limit do whatever the hell you can to make it deadly obvious what how you're to, supposed to how do. to continue right right because you don't want the judge wandering because some of them are gonna it's right. just that simple 
That I would it's say it's not just drifty; it just happens. If it takes you 30 minutes to beat your game, it's way too long. Cut yeah. it in half. Yeah. If you make the game and you know where you're supposed to go when you go from point A to point B and you speed run your game in 15 minutes, that's perfect because the dev, uh, because you are the dev, so you will you will be able to do it quickly in 15 minutes. Um, the average player will probably take half an hour to do yeah. what you do in 15 minutes. Exactly. So. And, and, and yesterday with the drift, I knew that we were looking for the sister, but I didn't see her up on the cliff until somebody... I, how did we get a hint that she was up on the cliff? At some point, we got a hint that that chick was up on the cliff, and we went yeah. to look for her. He, Drifty Pie passed her like a hundred times, wandering around the map, and I didn't see her a single time. So, And I was looking at it. Yeah. It just wasn't obvious enough. But So we wasted a lot of time. Wandering around the map and but, not actually playing. In this game, you were saying? In a drift yesterday. Oh, yeah. Okay, I was saying, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. This is yesterday. Okay. Yesterday. This game was good. Yeah, this one was good. Um, it was fast, it was it was short, sweet. The, you know, it was made by young, new devs. And my first game was awful. Mm -hmm. It was terrible. Yeah. And uh, luckily, the way that of the world worked, at that point, I couldn't. Share give it, it to a, a YouTuber <laughs> and then everyone can make fun of it. Right. At that point, it was like uh, you had to convince people that you to play your game. Yeah. And uh, put it on like RPG Maker Net or something, and and hopefully get some reviews, some text reviews. Uh, it, it, now you can get video reviews from people. And it's, What's up, Damien? It's not that expensive. We're You're kind of late to the game. We're about to close it out. Hey, Damien. How you doing, man? You Thanks for shopping games. for for shopping by. For shopping by. Thanks for shopping by. <laughs> We have done three games already. We are doing our sign out outro. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Everybody who showed up to the live stream, big thumbs up. If you like the video, subscribe to the YouTube. If you would like more content like this and or game devy type material, um, we have a lot of videos. We got a lot. We got like a thousand videos. Like half of them are like educational tutorials. Yeah. Some of them are actually good. So you can watch those if you want to. Um, yeah, if you want your game played and featured on our channel for advertisement or critique or whatever it is, just so people know your game, that's the reward tier we offer for only 20 bucks on our Patreon. Links are in the description below. You can also get it done for free, actually, if you join us on Discord and interact with the bot that we've coded with JS Node, Discord JS, and uh, SU Light 3. Yeah, so tomorrow we will finish off with the, with the entries, hopefully. But the judging period continues for That's another, right. until Wednesday, I think, right. of next week. So but, the judges have a little extra time. But judges, if you are watching, get your scores into us as yes. soon as you can. We yes. have like seven judges. If you get so them done early, send them early. Please. It might take a little while to get the the winner announcement out. Yeah. We only have two more games. We have. I'm gonna post these three videos today, but then tomorrow we're gonna live stream the last two entries yep. and post those videos, and then we're gonna um, we're gonna take a little a day off or so compile the list of all the stuff, edit a video it, really well, and, and put out the winners. And that usually takes all day to edit the it video. It takes a long time, yeah, it's because you're, you're doing co collaborating with a lot of people, wow. you're putting numbers together, you're um, averaging, doing math. Math takes time. Math, and I don't, I give all the math to Drifty. It, it takes time. And, <laughs> and then we also have to set up first impressions for after the game jam that have been like people have been buying them over the that's whole not to course. say we won't um do some first impressions next week right we'll do some we first might. impressions yeah. we have some lined up and then we have a new series coming out after the game jam and first impressions called how do they do that yes. where we invite some of the people who submitted a game to our jam if we find a specific mechanic that we're like you know how the heck did you do that with default assets? Yeah. And I want to bring them on through Discord chat and have like an hour live stream with them, like podcast type form, but yeah. also looking at the project. It's like a game dev game commentary. Dev game dev um, it's, it's a dev stream with multiple devs yep. talking about how they accomplished a certain uh, feature or something, you know, that's a, a mechanic, game mechanic, mm -hmm. which, you know, they're not, uh, game mechanics can't be copyrighted. Uh, Damien, so the last two So you games... can actually learn and use the, the mechanics you learn. The last in two... our... Go ahead, sorry. The last two games we have to judge are Gates of Trinity and yours. Yeah, we have Gates of Trinity and then A Memory Lost. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we're, we're gonna do that one last thing, because we have time. We're, we're, we haven't even gotten any of the judges complete scores yet has, has right. I think a blue uh, studio blue is 
done. They asked if they could but they submit it early, but, but they, they haven't submitted, submitted yet. yet. Yeah. So, yep, Studio Blue, send us your scores. We almost have all of them, minus two. Of course, we got to put ours down for today, but we will do that as soon as the stream is up. Stay tuned. We're going to post these videos in the playlist. See you guys on Discord. Mwah. Have a fantastic uh, day. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow at 2 o'clock EST for the final uh, first impressions of our game jam. It's been a pleasure. Love you guys very much. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. All right, and that's the end of the video. I'm going to read the names off in the chat. Actually, we'll have T do it because she loves no, doing no, it. No, no, I've got to uh, go pee. You can go pee. I'll talk to people. My tooth is throbbing. I'm oh, not you can't be... read names? Nope, I'm not concentrating on anything okay. right now. Except for, ow. Ow. Damn it. I've got like three different painkillers. The A couple that you put on your tooth and, and a 600 milligram ibuprofen. I might add Tylenol to the mix at some point. Holy cow. Owie. I need to get like a really good string tied around my tooth and, and tie the other into a door. No, that won't work. <laughs> yeah, tooth pain sucks. I mean, I've done it before. It, uh, there's obviously light at the other end of the tunnel as long as you get it treated and you don't die of a brain infection. Uh, you know, you live. It'll be fine. You gotta figure it out sometime. Yeah, no, urgent care's not gonna help me at all. And the dentists are all closed, so I have to rely on antibiotics. Hopefully, hopefully my body hasn't quarantined it in, in, in a cyst yet because if it's, if the infection is contained in a cyst, the antibiotics probably won't do anything. That's why it's important as soon as you start feeling pain to, yeah. to address it. Don't yep. let it go when it comes to this. I mean, it's a good, it's a good mechanic Floss for your body day, though because brush every day. you know what happened when I was 14, I, uh, my appendix ruptured yeah. and I didn't go to the hospital for nine days. Well, you should a, have died statistically. Right. It, it should have killed me. But when they ruptured, when my appendix ruptured, my body formed this cyst the size of a large grapefruit so in my abdomen. So it quarantined it off into a little... Yep. Or a little ball. So I didn't die. And I spent six days in the hospital on like several different types of antibiotics, getting CAT scan after CAT scan, because my my appendix is posterior instead of anterior, which means it's pointing to the back instead of the front. So which they is couldn't different figure than out. Normal, right? right, it's very rare actually. Very few people have that. And it took them a long time to figure out that it was my appendix for, because one, it was in the wrong spot, and two, it was the size of almost a basketball. <laughs> it's supposed to be the size of your pinky. So, but yeah, the cyst saved my life. You know, uh, T has a number of these I should have died stories. <laughs> I keep telling her she needs to write a book. This is she's got some fascinating stories. We stay up at night and talk and tell each other stories yeah, of our, of our life. Yeah, kind of crazy. She has some very very fascinating that's stories. why a little toothache is like meh you know I've, I've seen worse I've, I've seen worse it's been worse <laughs> we were talking about that and how people meet online now and people like you get this stranger um, confidence you mm -hmm. know like you're confiding in a in a somebody who doesn't interact with your daily life so you're like you're completely open with that person because like what what do you care what they think you're never going to see this person, probably. Yeah. They don't talk to anybody you know. Yeah. And, like, so you're just open with this person and, and honest. And if they don't like you, then fuck them. They, then you never talk to them again. Right. You and, know? and at least you got some therapy getting it off right. your chest. And you yeah. got to, to speak it. And <laughs> that's how we kind of started on Discord. And um, we did that for a couple months and realized that we wanted to get married and have kids. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't think I don't think older you know what, people though? understand that. I, though. You know, it's honestly I'm gonna be honest. I literally fell in fell in love with Drifty pretty much right away. Oh. Like it, it didn't take. It took like a minute, and I was like, <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> I don't know how, but I like this guy. I was single for five years, and I would not give anybody the time of day. And I, all he has to do is say hi, and I'm like, Bleh. I I wanted to talk to you. I was interested <laughs> in you right after I played your game. Like when I played your game. I was like, I need to know this person who, who put this <laughs> together. Who the per the mind that made this story? I just want to talk. I just want to talk. Yeah. And my first question was, Are, are you, you eighteen, 18 or, over? or over? Because the, 
Well, I mean, come on, you can deduce. <laughs> Apparently I look pretty young. Sometimes people think I'm a teenager. Yeah, she's like, yeah, I'm 30-something. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Thank you, I'm flattered. I was hilarious, too, because, I, like I said, I was in that mindset where I would not date people. I had written off dating. I was going to be single for the rest of my life. And um, so I, I ran into my, my daughter's bedroom. They're a little older, and I'm like... Hey, I think this YouTuber's hitting on me. I was. And I was laughing. They were laughing. We all had a good laugh. But then I went back to the room and I'm like, well, I kind of like them though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. And then flash forward a couple months of us talking on Discord and she flies to San Diego and I drive to San Diego and rent a hotel and then we meet at the airport. Yeah. And I was playing the piano at the airport and she's pops up behind me and I'm like oh shit yeah and well so here's the thing I saw him playing the piano and I was like maybe 20 feet away and I realized that I was absolutely terrified to meet him like when I was 20 feet away from him after driving flying 3,000 miles across the, the country that's when I realized I was terrified to meet him <laughs> so I'm standing there 20 feet away from him and he has his back to me he's at the piano I'm playing piano oblivious that she's yeah. even arrived yet I'm holding my 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 um luggage and I'm thinking okay if you don't just walk right up really fast right now and don't stop you're not going to be able to move so that's what I did I just started walking really fast and I got up behind him and I was like hey <laughs> I was like oh uh you're here you made it <laughs> yeah I was like let's hug <laughs> <laughs> I need physical contact with you right now <laughs> yeah that did fix a lot I was very nervous like at that moment <laughs> I don't know how we got here, but it's a nice story. Yeah. Um, Doug Smith says, it's always when you decide you're going to be single forever that you meet the one you should have been with all along. It's true. I was, I totally gave up. It's when you give up completely that you find what you're looking for sometimes. Yeah. I wasn't even looking. Yeah. A Costa says, I'm so, so bored. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> our poor A Costa. Oh, wait, he goes, I need more streams. I'm so, so bored. Uh, so that's a mixed message. Okay, I don't know if... so you want us to just keep talking and not stream. <laughs> you, you want us to keep I streaming, see. or are we just yeah. very boring? <laughs> We're going to end it anyway. Well, no, it was funny, too, because when we when we first met, um, you know, you, you when you first, we had been talking for months, so we knew each other for pretty well. But at the same time, meeting physically for the first time is a completely different arena. And so we both want to impress each other, obviously. Right. And um, Drifty left his tablet on the piano. I did. In the airport and didn't realize it until we were all the way out in the parking garage in the car. So here I am running <laughs> back into the, because it was like a mile. Like we were all the way in the airport. It's a long way. Uh, so I'm like running a mile to where I left my tablet. Yeah. It was a shield tablet, a little NVIDIA shield tablet, and I took that to just Google Maps my way around. And I was running back to the, to the piano. I'm like, come on, nobody lifted. I didn't, I was pretty sure it was going to be there, but at the same time, like, someone could have lifted it. So I was like running and people were looking at me like I had a bomb on me or something. I'm like, please, <laughs> yeah, running don't into get an airport. I hope I don't get sharp shot <laughs> with somebody, a sniper. We got someone with a bomb coming at Target neutralized. <laughs> no, my tablet. But thankfully, the tablet, the piano was black, and the tablet's like really thin, and it was black and on its face, so it just blended right in with the piano. Yeah. Anyway, I got my tablet. And you got a tablet back. We were fine. We spent the next day hanging out in uh, beautiful San Diego. Early. What was it? December. Oh, Acos, by it the way, like we we live streamed. We live stream anyways. Right now we're doing the game jam streams, but we live stream to uh, two o'clock Eastern Standard Time anyways. Yeah, yeah. Monday so, through Friday we yeah. we live stream two o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Um, sometimes to three, sometimes to four, sometimes to three thirty. Just you know, one to two hour live stream pretty much. Yeah. Uh, every weekday as a, as a job, you know. I love I love this quote unquote job that I have, and um, I get to make my own hours. So I try to make it uh, something consistent. I think it helps if people know when I'm, if I'm always on at this time and I'm consistent with it, you know, we're always here at this time, mm -hmm. people get used to that and right. it, it helps, it helps people, it helps like maintain viewers. If you're sporadically randomly streaming, you're not going to be, you're not going to do as well as if you pick a time, it doesn't matter the time, but pick that time 
and always be consistent with that time. So we say Monday through Friday, two o'clock to approximately four o'clock every week. Yep. We stream, and and as long as our ISP lets us, we do that, and uh, and I think that's helped quite a bit actually. Absolutely. Yeah, it's good to have a it's good to have a schedule too. If you work at home, I remember when Lily before I went back to work and Drifty hadn't gone back to streaming yet after the whole cancer thing. Um, we started we got so bad about our schedule that we were going to bed at like five in the morning, sleeping yeah. until two. And I'm like, we gotta go back to work. <laughs> we need to. We need a schedule. Yeah, we need to get out of this little slump. <laughs> yeah. And deal with it. Like we get, we're we're constantly on the phone. At that time, we spent all day on the phone with doctors, insurance agencies, um, medical care providers, like uh, uh, nonprofit groups like Angel Flight and yeah. philanthropy programs. Yeah. Like we were scrambling to get money to tra to travel and also find the best doctors that we could possibly get. Um, in network and even though we ended up with doctors that were out of network because they were better and and we were able to be covered by our insurance plan yeah luckily um i had like uh, i had some of the best doctors in the country yep like the best you could find so like thankfully thankfully you know i, I feel like everything went well but it was a full-time job trying to um get coverage stay covered um make sure that all the pre-offs are going in um, make scheduled appointments with different retina specialists and eye doctors and radiologists mm. and like it just shit went on and on and on and getting oh, the crazy. flights paid for that through Angel Flight shout out to Angel Flight they, they were fantastic I had physical therapy appointments at the time oh, yeah you were also we were doing gynecologist stuff time. that year because yeah. you were pregnant and I was and doing crippled. dealing with cancer like what a crazy year we'll it never was. forget that like that <laughs> Like, you know, later on, we're going to look back and be like, damn, wasn't that crazy? I already look back and think, damn, wasn't that crazy? Yeah. And I think about it, the year we met, we were crazy, too. We just, it's, this has been the quietest year so far with a global pandemic. I know. You know what the strange thing is? <laughs> like, like, this is a terrible disease that's hitting, you know, a terrible virus, a yeah. terrible disease. People need to self-quarantine and try to, you know, mitigate that curve, flatten that curve is the saying, I guess. Um, but, but besides that, like, it's been pretty chill for us. Like global pandemic, it didn't touch last year. No. Like last year. It was year more crazy the year we met. And it was more crazy last year with the cancer and yeah. The Lily. Yeah. This year is actually chill. It's like. It's, it's a lot more chill than last year. It's way more chill. I'm an essential worker, so I would be working except for we got the Rona. You yeah, know, so we caught the Rona. We caught the Rona. And I actually talked to my boss yesterday. I'm going back to work on the 30th. I have right. an official return date because after three weeks, three freaking weeks. The fever went my away. Fe my fever finally went away. Yeah. Finally. This coronavirus will give you a fever, a low-grade fever, except at night it, it gets up a little bit more. I'm convinced that's why my tooth is infected. Yeah. Because my your body immune system has been, been fighting, fighting that coronavirus. coronavirus. Yeah. yeah. Um, the SARS-2-CoV was the virus, and some people developed COV-19, which is a disease of mm -hmm. pneumonia. And I think you probably started that. I know Josh did for yeah. sure. A mild so yeah, like our whole house caught this shit. Yeah. And uh, it basically wiped us out for three weeks. We couldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. uh, we started self-quarantining before the schools shut down. Mm -hmm. Like before they did that. So yeah. like it was already spread. It's been like a month and a half now. It's been, it's been five weeks, six yeah. weeks now. But like for three weeks, each person starting on maybe a slightly different day because the incubation period and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But like three weeks, it hit everybody for like three weeks. Yep. It was crazy. Like this shit is a, is a lot more um, uh, widespread than the, is they say. Oh, absolutely. Like the, you see, oh, so many cases in here. That's no. only the ones they've tested. And guess what? United States is only testing like three or four hundred every hundred thousand. Where we are, they will only test people that are in critical condition and medical workers. That's it. So, so you can be very, 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 very sick with the coronavirus. If you're not on an in, uh, a, um, a ventilator, you don't need a ventilator, they're not going to test you. Yeah. You could be in the hospital, very sick with the coronavirus. They're not going to test the you. The problem was since early February... Because in late January, you know, people who were in charge knew about this. 
the thing that didn't happen was testing. If you look what's happening in the economy See, of Damien, South Korea. Thank you. Hey, super chat from Damien. $5. I hate being the stick in the mud, but it's time for me to go. Take care. We got to go too, guys. Thank you so much, Damien, for the $5 super chat. Appreciate it, my man. Wow. Um, yeah. I don't know what I was going on. It was probably going to get political at some point, which I try to stay away from. So yeah. let's go ahead and end it. Damien, yo, Just quit I see what you did, and I love you, man. Thank you. Got to go, guys. Bye. We got to go. Have Did a fantastic... you read the names yet? Let's read the names read off the, the names. chat. Peace read out, guys. Psycho Gaming, Duke, ABQ, Drag, Acos44, Damien Floyd. Thank you so much for the super chat, Damien. Pika Mula Mouse, Doug Smith and the crew, thank you so much for the submission. Vino, thank you so much for the super chat earlier. Um, I said Acos. Pika Mew, Wacky, Swacky, thank you so much for showing up. Everybody who's participated in the chat, thank you so much. Any names that I miss, thank you so much. I appreciate you for being here. Sweet, Life is Cancer. Um, anybody who I just miss because I'm an idiot, thank <laughs> you so much for talking and no. participating. Um, I'm just filling all the gaps, you know. This is just filler. Brian Gillespie, as I scroll up and find new names. Uh, Jeff's laughter <laughs> instead of Jeff Slaughter, <laughs> Jeff's laughter. Yep, yep. Um, thank you, thank you so much, Jeff, for being here. And uh, anybody else? Who else was here? Who else? There was people. Corey Davis, of course. Twenty dollars super chat from Corey. Appreciate you, my dude. Thank you so much from earlier on. Um, Corey's been like throwing crazy money at us. Kind of, it's kind of insane. Nat Majora Wolf 29, anybody else? Love you guys. Have a fantastic day. We will see you back here 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time tomorrow, Friday, April 17th, 2020. And we will do the last couple games of the jam. And we will then commence uh, the scoring and start putting all of the numbers where they need to be and present, start editing a video together once we get all of the scores back from the judges. And we will start throwing some cash around. We're going to throw around $125 to the winners as well as some Steam keys that you can pick from. Mm -hmm. So I'll compile a list as well. That's it for today. See you guys. Have a fantastic Thursday. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.